at the airport. I mean, bus station. <laughs> Waiting. Uh, we're almost gonna get on. Gonna wait a little bit before we get on. Set to sit for four hours. So this is the bus that we're gonna be taking. Ah, oh, it goes to uh, San Miguel. Yeah, it's like one of the yeah. We just made the bus. <laughs> cavity search. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which cavity? What? <laughs> Which cavity? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, got on. Uh, we only leave in about 20 minutes. And it's a huge bus with a bathroom in the back. And it also has TV. Wow. Space age stuff, man. <laughs> so we just got to Leon. It's a capital here in Guanajuato. Um, it's just a stop point. We still have another hour and a half or so to get to the main city. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty smooth ride so far. Um, no, the roads are pretty good here. Uh, there's no potholes or anything like that. And it's uh, AC. There's a TV if you like to watch, listen to music. Just been hanging out pretty much. So I'm just gonna stand up and stretch here for a little while. And, So we just made it to another part of Guanajuato. We had to take an Uber to get to the really high hills of this. So I thought all the booths. So it's like the bus station around here where you get a ride to Guanajuato. The main cast, uh, the main uh, hostel that we're going to. The weather is nice out here. It's not hot at all. I think it's higher elevation, so you're gonna get that cooler weather. I haven't experienced any mosquitoes yet, but we'll see about tonight. We just got in our hostel, and I got bed number 12. One's got bed number 13, lucky number 13. And those are our lockers. Uh, very colorful decor in here. Um, about eight beds, and beautiful view. What do you say, the showers room? The showers. Well, this is the restroom, right? Is that a shower? Well, there's one shower, it looks like. Yeah, it's one shower. It's one shower. And then... Nice. Check out 12.30. Dang. <laughs> Should we take a picture up here, huh? Look at that beautiful city. Oh, I feel a little bit of rain coming on. This is the fresh water in the kitchen. Towels can open the window. There's a g gas range that you can cook stuff, I guess. Nice. Here or downstairs? Okay. Very old school building, very colorful. This the hostel doesn't have your luggage storage service. Okay. I don't know if he said you eat here or something. I didn't eat. You gotta lean forward, I guess. Cocina. So if you guys want to do leg day, just uh, run, a, run a couple of these and uh, you're good to go <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> so we're in a little park right now, we're just looking for directions, headed to the center, historical center. I think you go that way. <laughs> Very narrow shit, exactly like Italy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get it. I might get a beer. So we're in the historical district. There's a lot of restaurants. I think we saw five bakeries so far. Yeah. But you gotta love these trees, how they cut them. It's very uh, picturesque. Damn, dude. So where's your bank? So it has to be all the way down here. 
Oh, they are over here. Italian sandwiches? Or I'm guessing. What is for Pugini? I don't know. I feel like this is like an Italian uh, mix or something. Like that. Maybe. But oh, I think it's gonna be good. This little city has a magical vibe so far. I think it's just like has a little feel of Europe and has this little rustic uh, feel to it. It feels like you're in Italy or something. And when you're wandering, there's a lot of little colorful little streets that you walk by and perfect for pictures. Um, we're gonna explore here a little bit later, hoping to find some really cool places. I did see a statue on top of the hill where there are uh, a lot of people looking down, so that might be a good vantage point to take a picture. Uh, right now, gonna eat because we're starving. <laughs> Haven't eaten since this morning, had two bananas and some snacks on the bus, and that's about it. But this is a little corner that we found. And this is a ham sandwich, it's a hot sandwich. Uh, Juan got the uh, chicken. So we're heading into the dungeon. <laughs> we just had, we just finished our uh, sandwiches. And we're gonna explore the underground tunnel here in Guanajuato. It's kind of a mountain town, so they need to have a way to uh, get around the city. And they have these really cool tunnels. Although this is a kind of a smaller one. But we're just going to walk around a little bit, just explore. It's like a secret tunnel, underground sort of stuff, you know? Something you, see in the movies. Something you only see in the movies, like James Bond stuff. You know? And it's pretty cool in here. So we're, we just came out of a tunnel, and then there's another tunnel. <laughs> this is like something out of 28 Days Later, where there's like a bunch of zombies that run out at you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I don't think this is meant for people. Oh, there's a car here. What? There's a car. Stand clear, dude. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> I'm watching out. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Where does this lead to? so sketch in here man. Alright. So I thought I saw sunlight, but it's actually just another light. A light bulb. Should we go back now? Yeah we're gonna go back after this. <laughs> Alright let's head out. <laughs> so I saw that in the video. And I was like oh yeah that's cool. Come back but it's a lot of pressure. Yeah you gotta come back. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure to come back here <clears throat> kiss. Yeah, we just ran her, randomly ran her and wandered around and found it. Yeah. I don't know the exact name of the place, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes something like this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Like an alley, the kissing alley or something like that. On our way into a market. I'm not sure what the name of it is. It's more compact. It has food, it has a lot of wares that you can buy. And it's definitely not as big as Juarez or the Mercado Libertad. It's a huge market. It has a lot of different types of foods. I wonder if in, in the morning there are going to be as many stores open for food. But if one thing you haven't tried yet is uh, ceviche, it's really good. It's what? Shrimp and then like spices. It's raw shrimp, right? Raw shrimp and then spices, like a cocktail mix in there. Uh, really good. I had it in Santa Marta and I'm going to try it here one, one day. Not today, we just ate. <laughs> of the University of Guanajuato. 
and I think it's the doors are closed right now. Maybe it opens, or maybe there's another entrance or something. But it's a beautiful sight up here. We climb to the top here. Uh, it's about afternoon, and you can see all the colorful buildings. People taking photos up here. And there's a really cool statue up there that we might try to get to today, if not tomorrow. And people are just walking down the square. Right. I don't know if it's traffic hour right now, but there's always a lot of people driving through the city, right? Yeah. Maybe it's just because they have narrow streets, so always seems to have traffic. All right. Working one step at a time. Yesterday we were at the Matute Remus Bridge and we ran in the morning. Probably a total of 12 miles, 12 or 13 miles walking yesterday. And today we walked around pretty much down, downtown of Guanajuato. Now we're making the climb back to our hostel to get some water and relax a bit and rest up. But we have a a little bit more steps to go. <laughs> and that's an exaggeration. <laughs> so we're chilling at the hostel and Juan just had tried his first shot of tequila. And what are your thoughts on that? It burns. I wouldn't do it again. I'll have buck instead. Even if you had a chaser. Even if you had like Lime. Uh, I think I'll try with lime. But Might just, be good with a lime. With a lime, but straight and a taco. Straight whiskey. No. And a taco. <laughs> and a taco. <laughs> so this is a nice view of the city at night. We're still waiting for it to darken. It's 8 p.m., but it's still kind of bright outside. So probably 9 p.m. is when we'll probably see. Uh, uh, maybe it's not as hot today. I don't know, dude. I mean, you'll feel the so, kick after. Yeah, it was so spicy yesterday. So we have like up eight different sauces. Kind of seven different sauces. Kind of right. I guess whole. I haven't eaten it yet, but it can't be that spicy today because uh, if you guys ain't on fire, I was, we were on fire yesterday. We were this little like, we, were, we were like blown away. We we're like, it looks sweet. We're both like. <laughs> <laughs> At a hole, the hole in the wall with uh, Mars. One and Min. Uh, we got some tortas and tacos. Let's just try with these spicy seasonings, how we rock it. Are you gonna cry? You know? <laughs> you gonna cry? cry? I might cry. <laughs> I mean, you gonna cry? <laughs> He's Korean. <laughs> so Juan and I just finished some tacos. We're wandering downtown, see if there's any cool stuff. Oh, we had some live music downtown. This is the main square, La Paz or something. And uh, it's pretty romantic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you can totally walk with them and follow them if you wanted to. And just blend it. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> so we're back in the same square as earlier today. And this is what it looks like at nighttime. Looks even more beautiful. We've got two puppies playing with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Some churros. We're right. thinning. Straight from the churroseria. I don't know how to pronounce it. Churroseria. I guess we should start looking for those at the beginning. Hang on, I'm gonna take a picture of this awesome place. Pretty much revisiting all the sites that we walked through today just to see what it's like that nighttime, and I gotta say, it's fabulous. F A B Capital F. <laughs> Capital F. <laughs> People just hanging out, chilling by the square, jumping. 